What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for the awesomest of male and male, VGM? I'm Walter Day, the father of esports, and you're watching the Do You Nerd. That's right, it's VGM Video Games Monthly, the tiered subscription service that sends retro goodness straight to your home for the consoles and handhelds that you've picked. Let's get in to the March 2022 box. March Madness. Here's the March, here's the madness. <laughs> That's right. Something you just said was... This is our fifth anniversary with VGM. We've been doing wow. this for five years. Wow. That's a lot of games over five years. But I hope they didn't slack. This better have some good stuff in here. Yeah. There's a lot of good stuff going on. A whole lot of good stuff. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Yeah. Kind of stuff that makes you feel good. It's good. All right, something I've actually been enjoying is the whole passing it back mm -hmm. and forth. It's been fun, yeah. So, she tells me something on the label. I try to guess the game. I tell her I the name it. of the game. She tries to guess something on the label. All right, here's this. Okay, so the reminder to post what you got on social media and you could win some free games and telling you to update your library so you don't get any duplicates. I might have made that mistake. I mean, he's he's kind of he's kind of, he's an ass, yeah. <laughs> and he's dumb. <laughs> he's a dumbass. One four. Whoops. <laughs> and we get a one up. Nice, nice. Uh, cheers to that extra and game. We also got a lot of money. <laughs> uh, Pokemon. Money. Nice. What was that? One million Pokebucks. That's great from 1996. You're going to poke your bucks? Whoa. <laughs> so, basically, I'm going to take this down to uh, to the Pokemon battles, and I'm going to make like a really stupid bet just to see <laughs> how good my luck is, because, hey, this is money that uh, VGM sent me. <laughs> i got to get it together. I have a problem. I just drove across the parking lot to get a rat looking some bitch, okay? God. All right, I got my first one. Okay. This is something that we just watched a movie about it on the Disney Channel. It involves a lot of greenery and you can read them. So, The Jungle Book? Yes. <laughs> Easy enough. <laughs> Okay, hey, the Jungle Book on Super Nintendo. Tell you what, old BGM was listening when Tom here said he likes getting his Super Nintendo games. You know, as much as I have played the Jungle Book on Sega Genesis and Game Gear, I have never played the Super Nintendo version. I have never played it either. <laughs> but I've never played any of the Jungle Book games. So this should be interesting. Hey, real quick, anybody ever weirded out by the uh, the goo goo eyes that the girl made to M Mowgli at the I know, end of the Jungle like Book? I know, were they like 12 years old or something? What was going on? Like, she was being a little too uh, suggestive. What happens in the jungle station? <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Right. Oh, oh, oh I, I stole this one. It's a Famicom game. She loves getting her Famicom games because she loves the colored cartridges. Well, it's Donkey Kong Jr., but... Good luck guessing something on this label. Is there nothing on the label but the writing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving it away when I say that. Okay, that's a that's a boring label for Donkey Kong Jr. That is a very boring label. Apparently he's going to climb a mountain. Okay. It, it, tell you what, that mountain kind of looks like the... Uh, oh, you went excite bike. I was thinking the yodeler from Price is Right. Mm. Okay, you can stop here. There's no way that microwave costs more than 300 bucks. Stop here. Don't go listen to that fat tourist. She doesn't know how much a microwave costs. Stop! So, real quick, my dear. Who is the villain in Donkey Kong Jr.? Do you know? Mario. Nice! <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. Sci-Five. Ah. 
Hey. Nerdiness. Fish me. <laughs> Don't judge us. <laughs> well, this is getting weird. Okay. Okay. What have we got? What oh. have we got? Well, this is super. Ooh, is it another Super Nintendo? There's a stretchy guy on the cover. And Stretch a Armstrong. And a guy on the cover. And a green guy on the cover. Fantastic Four. And... Avengers. They're all blocky. So Lego Avengers? Close. Lego X-Men? No. Lego <laughs> Batman? Like There's a dude with claws on the front of it. Lego X-Men? <laughs> <laughs> There's a dude with a big old shield on the front of it. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. I would catch it. There's a dude Le with a hammer. Lego on the Marvel front of superheroes. It? Yes. <laughs> I, I was lost. I was like, I said Lego Avengers. That's why I, I forgot close. they did that weird. <laughs> the Marvel superheroes, but the Avengers. Okay. Hey, again, they're listening because they know that we love our Lego games. Yes. Did we play this one on Sony? Yeah, what, PlayStation. PS3 yeah, or PS4? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I actually remember playing through this one. Yeah, that one was fun. We had a lot of fun. Uh, the only problem that I had with this game was, I mean, they have so many, so many awesome Marvel characters. And when we were unlocking favorites like Deadpool and uh, Gambit. Rogue, Phoenix. Yeah, it was so cool to have them. But ultimately, it was like the Mark 42 yeah, you Iron, Man Iron Man armor. Because Iron Man could do the silver and the gold. Well, and it was fly. that certain suit. Yeah. yeah. And it kind of made being anyone else a moot point. But it had a huge open yeah. world. And it was so fun to be Iron Man and like jump off of, you know, the Avengers Tower fly past the Baxter building, yeah. head on over to the X Mansion because, you know. I think this was one of the first times that we had a big open world. I think, I think you're it was right. One of the first one, so we were like running around and at first we were like, I don't know where to go because we just have a big city to run around. This was also one that we had so much fun with that we 100% completed did. it. And it was that sad moment when we finished it because yeah. it's like, and now what do I yeah. do with my gaming life? Okay, so we get the three game box. We had a one up, one more game in here. First and foremost. Bubble wrap! Oh, yeah. All right, well, it is a Game Boy Advance game and I swear if it's Lego Star Wars 2 again, <laughs> Did you update your list this time? I did, but that doesn't mean they wouldn't send it just because. Well, the title is Power Rangers, no Mighty Morphin, Ninja Storm. Your I'm, clue is Power Rangers, Ninja Storm. I'm going to go with another label with just writing on it because <laughs> it's this, so tiny. <laughs> this, is almost, this is almost stealing the fun away from it. I know. It. We, we should have swapped. I know, we should have swapped. But them. you got it, yeah. Oh, it's purple. I didn't expect purple. Do you love purple? I love purple. Purple. Oh, I love purple. Well, I'm going to say this, our cranially endowed friend of the Sega variety <laughs> would not be happy with this box, mostly because of all the Nintendo stuff. He does like his Pokemon though, so maybe that will, will save his fandom. <laughs> Did I do it? Did I do the laugh? <coughs> Nerdlings. But Let we us can, know. We can buy him off, though. Oh, <laughs> buy him off with a, he'll just spin it on Nuzlocke challenges. He probably would. <laughs> Nerdlings, let us know if you've played any of these games, if you are a fan of Donkey Kong Jr., or maybe you only like your Donkey Kong in the original variety or the country variety. Or the Frozen. <laughs> you played Power Rangers that apparently are no longer mighty and they no longer morph, but they are caught up in a ninja storm. That's like a lot of katanas and shurikens flying around. 
<laughs> the seven-day forecast shows Foot Clan coming in later in the week. <laughs> Back to you, Diane. We also have the Jungle Book on the Super Nintendo. Please let me know if I'm into a good game for this one or maybe not so much. Maybe the Genesis, the Sega offerings were better because back in the day, you know, they didn't just straight over port a lot of these games. And did you check out Lego Marvel Super Heroes? Even more if you did, did you 100% complete it like a couple of Lego loving Marvelites what here? What we say? We love it. We give the video a like. All that stuff, comments down below, please notification bell, subscribe, and make sure that you come back next month because there will be another box video. as we enter five full years of video games crazy. monthly. It's a lot of retro goodness. Right it there. is. All right, well, I am going to contact my bookie while well, you tell them the rest. Well, I am going to tell you to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public and check out the merchandise we have over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if you can't get in, we can spot you some money. And if we like it, nerdlings. We nerd it for all the retro gaming yeah. goodness. Bye. This isn't legal That's tinder. Fun. It's probably not chicken tenders either. Mm. Chicken nuggets? I like chicken nuggets. Go ahead. Nugs. <laughs> we do a lot of weird we stuff. We do weird stuff. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. We are an unusual couple, you know? Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. I feel desired. Batman, the strap, and the table. Desired. It's... Um, 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 um. Because we really, I think we only played Lego on with Indiana Jones and Star Wars, the first one. On, on Nintendo. Yeah. And then we moved on to Sony systems. Yeah, because I stopped. I didn't want to play like this. <laughs> Your nugs hurt my nugs. <laughs> <laughs>